everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to another new in haul i filmed one of these quite recently but i have accumulated a few more things so as some of you may or may know it was my birthday recently it was my birthday a week ago today actually and um, i got some really nice things and there are a couple of bits that i have bought myself as well um, and I wanted to share them with you because most of them are from Zara. My friends and family never really know what to get me um, because obviously with my job I get given a lot of lovely stuff and my job is to buy clothes and normally all I ever ask for are clothes. So they always get really stuck on what to buy me so my mum always usually buys me bits from Zara but obviously Zara don't ever work with influencers or anything like that. So there's always a big long list of things from Zara that I'm loving so she very kindly got me a few bits for my birthday um, and I bought some bits myself as well so I wanted to share them with you. It's mostly Zara. I've got one beauty item and then um, two other bits as well not from Zara. So just quickly before we start um, I was scrubbing off my fake tan last night and it's not really come off my neck very nicely hence this hoodie that I've got on today. It's come off my hands but not off my neck very well so sorry if it looks a bit dodgy. Um, also this hoodie that I'm wearing I've literally lived in it since I got it. It's from Lux to Kill. Um, really nice like charcoal grey colour I've got the matching joggers on as well um, if you follow me on Instagram you may have seen I posted a picture in it um, probably about a week ago now actually but I adore it it's from their new like premium range and they also do it in white and nude as well and it's literally the most comfy tracksuit I own it's so gorgeous the inside as well is really soft I just love it I've worn it every single day since I got it so far um, and I definitely need to put it in the wash today but anyway I'm just gonna get straight into the video and show you what I've got so this first piece from Zara um, I actually featured in my Christmas Day outfits um, but I thought I'd just talk about it in a little bit more detail and some of you I know don't watch my styling videos you just watch my hauls so this is the first piece it's just this really basic black long sleeved bodysuit um, I really love this it's ribbed bring it a bit closer and you can see it's covered in fluff as well so ignore that but I just love this the sleeves are really long so they sort of cover my hands right up which I really like a nice simple round neck it's really comfy um, it's got a nice thin bottom as well so the bodysuit part doesn't give you um, a VLP a VLP did I just say that VPL um, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I wear this in a size small and it was only 9 99 and it also comes in a chocolate brown and a grey as well I believe. Um, so I'm thinking of picking up those as well because I find these kind of tops so handy for this time of year. They look great dressed up with skirts or smart trousers but they're also a great layering piece as well to wear under a coat or a jumper um, to keep you nice and warm. This next item is also something that I showed in my Christmas Day outfits video and I actually paired it with the bodysuit um, but it's just this beautiful chocolate brown faux leather midi skirt. It's got this gorgeous bow on the side zip up at the back really easy to get into it's really comfortable as well I just love this that's what the bottom looks like sort of like a wrap kind of style these faux leather midi skirts are really on trend at the moment and I love them I love the color of this one chocolate brown is also the color of the season and I just think this is absolutely gorgeous I got this in a size extra small um, and it fits me quite nicely actually I bought a couple of other um, midi skirts similar to this from Zara and the extra small was quite uncomfortable um, but this extra small fits really well so it's obviously a slightly different shape maybe a bit looser the material as well is also a little bit thinner so it's a lot more comfortable I'm thinking of actually wearing this on Christmas day because it's such a nice piece next up is a loungewear set which I just think is absolutely gorgeous so it's a pair of joggers and a cardigan I'll show you the joggers first I love loungewear um, and this is such a great addition to my loungewear sets I have quite a few but these are the joggers gorgeous grey colour nice drawstring really loose on the leg and then they sort of come in with this elasticated bit at the bottom really comfortable it's quite nice to have sort of a in between pair of joggers because a lot of the joggers that I wear are quite oversized and thick and sort of part of a tracksuit whereas these ones are like a little bit thinner kind of like a long john style which I really like I've actually got these in a size medium because I didn't want them to be too tight and I wanted them to be loose and comfortable and um, because sometimes I find the waistbands can be a little bit restricting um, and a little bit uncomfortable if I'm like properly lounging but yeah I love these nice and thin um, and very versatile and easy to wear and then to go with, I have this very cute little cardigan. I thought it was a really nice matching set. Just three buttons on it, 
kind of cropped um, but it sits quite nicely with the high waistedness of the joggers obviously both of these can be worn separately as well this also i got in a size medium so it was a little bit loose and oversized this was 19.99 and the joggers were 19.99 as well i believe let me just check yeah so 40 pounds for the both of them so a super affordable set next up i have a piece of knitwear now as soon as i saw this on the zara website i literally fell in love with it i thought it was absolutely gorgeous this beautiful kind of chunky oversized like cable knit a really nice roll neck as well i just love this it's my kind of jumper this is the kind of thing i would wear um, around christmas i would definitely pop this on with some black leggings trainers and like a black overcoat for running errands to keep nice and cozy but i think this would also look great with like a leather skirt and some knee-high boots something like that something like that a bit more dressed up even as part of a christmas day outfit as well but i absolutely adore this so comfy and cozy it's not really itchy at all either um, I probably would wear a layer underneath it if I was wearing it out anyway, just because it's so bitterly cold at the moment. Um, but I've got it in a size medium, it fits really nicely. I could have even sized up to a size large, to be honest, um, because I would say that this fits me like it's a size small, and I quite like these kind of jumpers to be that little bit bigger, but the medium is absolutely fine. It's a really nice length as well, it's going to sit really nicely with jeans, um, and it was £29.99, such a thick jumper, I think that's a really good price. I'm really whizzing through these pieces. Um, next up is this beautiful dress again it's something that i featured on my christmas day outfits video but i wanted to show it again because i'm in love with it it's actually called the voluminous sleeve dress on the zara website i believe and i just loved the color it's sort of like kind of chocolate brown color but it's got like a bit of a khaki tone to it as well a beautiful round neck these sleeves are gorgeous really really flattering it really nips you in at the waist i don't know how well you can see that but it's sort of shape of the dress goes in slightly and then it's a nice mini length i'll definitely be wearing this with tights some chunky boots and like a wool belted overcoat but you could also really easily dress this up with some heels and a nice clutch bag maybe for a more special occasion but i just love this dress i thought it was beautiful quite a statement also really affordable it was 29.99 and i'm wearing it in a size small which i think fits me really really nicely it's just such a flattering versatile dress can easily be dressed up or dressed down really comfy as well it's stretchy around the belly area so if you are eating one of those big roast dinners it's not going to be uncomfortable next up i have a coat to show you now i have wanted a cream coat for a very long time um, and i couldn't find one that was affordable but a good quality i do find it hard to find um, affordable coats that are of that good quality that I look for and um, I find a lot of cheaper coats crease really easily which makes them look cheap and I wanted something that looked luxurious without having to pay sort of like 300 pounds for it um, so I found this one on mango which I just think is absolutely beautiful it's long it's belted um, it's a beautiful color bring it a bit closer to the camera so you can see there's several cream colours in there and a sort of like beige tone as well, but I just absolutely adore this. I love the silver hardware as well on it. It's got pockets as well, so practical, and I just love this. It's such a nice, classic, classy coat, and it was definitely something that was missing from my wardrobe. I don't really have many lighter coats. I've got rid of quite a lot of my teddy coats and my cream coats that I wasn't really wearing anymore so there's definitely a space for something like this and I love it I think it's beautiful amazing quality it looks really nice belted and it looks really nice sort of left flowing as well I put this together with an all cream outfit which looked really nice sort of something slightly smarter but I would also wear this you know over like a knitted dress and some chunky boots for a more daytime outfit I just really love it it was which was it I think it was a hundred pounds it say on here i think it was a hundred pounds um and i've got it in a size small um normally i do take a size extra small in coats from zara and mango this is from mango by the way i don't know if i said it's not from zara it's from mango um yeah normally i'd take a size extra small in zara and mango coats but i went for a small and i'm really pleased that i did because this does not come up oversized at all so the small is perfect for me i then have a second coat to show you and this one is from zara um, and it's this gorgeous camel coat it's double breasted so it's got these tortoise shell buttons that do up over the front a really lovely oh i need to sort of iron that out 
um, a really lovely smart collar it's thin it's a thin coat it's not lined or anything I do quite like that because I can layer underneath it very nice sleeve detail as well with these tortoiseshell buttons it's belted now this is quite similar to a black belted coat that I have from Zara um, I would say this one is a little bit more oversized because I got this again in a size extra small and it still feels oversized it fits like a size small rather than a size extra small so definitely size down in this if you are looking to get it I don't actually know if it's available anymore I will leave the link down below um, just so you can see exactly which one it is in case you can find it somewhere else like on Depop or eBay or something but there are plenty of really lovely belted camel coats around so I will link some similar as well if it's not available but I absolutely adore this really nice belt at the back and again this looks really nice done up or it looks really nice sort of like loose and free flowing so this one was £129 which is quite expensive for a coat that's not lined the quality i think is really there it's a really lovely material it's a really lovely shape and this is something that i know i'm going to wear all the time i can't believe that i went so long without a camel coat in my wardrobe i think it's such a staple and it's something that is going to last me a very very long time next up i have a little accessory to show you now this is a beautiful cashmere scarf as you can see it's in this gorgeous cream color this is from john lewis they have these in several different colors but as you guys know if you've watched any of my recent videos i do talk about cashmere a lot i talk about um, my cashmere socks i love i have a cashmere jumper that i adore um, and a cashmere scarf i thought was such a nice sort of addition to that collection it's cream so i do have to be careful with my makeup when i'm wearing this um, but it's absolutely beautiful so soft another just classic item it looks really really lovely with my cream coat as well so that's worked out really well such a timeless piece again amazing quality and this would also make a great gift as well if you're looking for perhaps your mum sister aunt someone like that it's a really special lovely gift finally I have a little beauty item from Chanel um, and this is something that I've been wanting to try for so so long um, I don't know why I haven't got around to trying it yet to be honest um, I've heard people say amazing things about it everybody loves it um, and I thought that it was about time that I gave it a go so I picked up the Chanel bronzer this is the one it's absolutely beautiful I have used it a few times already this is the colouring and I really like it I have got it on today so it's giving me a nice bronzed look this was a really nice treat for me because I don't often use makeup that is that expensive I'm more of a drugstore sort of makeup kind of girl but I thought I had to try this um because I'd heard so many good things and I really love it it's such a great bronzer it is pricey this was I think 42 pounds but obviously you're paying for the cc <laughs> I do think the quality of it is good um it does stay on my face all day which is one of the things I like most about it and um, I find a lot of other bronzers go sort of a little bit patchy during the day uh, this doesn't this stays on my face all day long it hasn't broken me out either which is something that sometimes happens with new makeup or skincare um, my skin is quite sensitive so it does break out easily when I use new product but it hasn't happened with this bronzer it's sort of like a creamy bronzer which I'm not used to normally I just use a powder bronzer but this is a more creamy consistency um, which I'm really enjoying using actually I feel like it's a little bit more natural so I am very pleased with this again this would make a lovely gift for for someone if you want to treat your mum or a friend perhaps it's a really nice special present so I believe that is everything I feel like I whizzed through this haul really quite quickly but um, I'm trying not to waste your time too much <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have added to my wardrobe recently I feel like there are some really nice staple pieces in there all very nice like earthy browns creams all that kind of stuff which I love let me know in the comments what your favourite item was. Let me know if you've tried the Chanel bronzer and what you think about it. And if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you gave it a like. And please subscribe to my channel if you are new. And I will see you very soon with another video.